All right, well, I am super excited. Joining us now is magician David Rinaldi. Thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for having me. So you normally perform at private and corporate events, but you decided to come on morning break and give the general public a view at what you do. Yeah, I don't get a chance to do many like theater shows or anything. I'm constantly traveling, doing uh, different like corporate meetings or conferences, uh, sporting uh, oriented stuff. I've done private shows uh, in the locker rooms for uh, you know sports players, not that kind of show, uh, you know, like a, a magic show, uh, right. you know, to get them to get them pumped up for the game. And so, so I get to do a lot of fun things like that. Uh, and it would, I figured it'd be fun to come on the show. Yeah. So. so tell me how you got started in this. This is obviously your career and what you do. Sure. How did it start for you? So I went to go see David Copperfield, and he had two hot chicks on stage and just made them vanish and I was like whoa that's crazy so so I wanted to I, I wanted to meet him afterwards and so I snuck into his meet and greet and uh, <clears throat> excuse me snuck into his meet and greet and got to shake his hand and uh, and I was inspired ever since and um, and been performing pretty much ever since so did he give you any words of wisdom or advice whenever you yeah met him? he said don't sneak into people's meet and greets and well there you go, go. <laughs> <laughs> that's great okay so you say you actually come to Charlotte a lot for events yeah stuff. there's a lot of events here that uh, that I get brought in for and uh, it's always a good time I love the city and uh, it's full of great people and I love it. So. so you mentioned, obviously, I told you in the break, I'm, I actually work in sports. So I'm on the weekend yeah. sports anchor. What's one of the coolest experiences you've had? You said you've done some stuff for teams and whatnot. What, yeah, what I, can you tell me? A couple years ago, I did an event called Rev in Indianapolis, and uh, it was it's a fundraiser for IU Health, and I got to do magic on the red carpet for Simon Pageant out, and mm -hmm. uh, it was just fun to be in that environment and show him magic and uh, take him out of his comfort zone. So. Yeah, I actually yeah. saw a clip of that. He was so amazed at what you could yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, fun. well... I'm just going to hand things over to you. And awesome, let you show cool. Me some yeah, magic. I brought something with. It. I'm going to stand for this because uh, that's what <laughs> okay. I'm used to doing. So uh, we've got a few different things here. We've got uh, some uh, some coins, and we've got uh, we need to use the cards for this too. Touch the back of one of the cards. Anyone? Okay. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. That one right there. Okay, <laughs> okay, so we got the Ace of Spades. Ooh, good choice. And the Three of Spades. Now, the cards themselves don't actually matter, okay? Uh, but we are going to use them for the trick, okay? Okay. Now, uh, what more is more important are actually the fact that I brought some coins with. Now, take a look at the coin purse. Make sure that okay. it's uh, solid. There's no holes in it or anything. Okay. It's a, it's a Gucci. Don't be jealous. Okay, oh, it's last really? season. It's in last, that case, do we have another one It's now? last season, but yeah, cool. <laughs> now, it, it looks good? It looks great. Okay, cool, because it has nothing to do with the trick, okay? I'm okay, just going to leave well, it right there. I just wanted to brag a little bit. I just wanted to brag, okay? <laughs> now, so we've got, uh, we've got three coins. Uh, there's a uh, uh, Mexican centavo. Uh, I like to get these coins when I'm traveling. I like to collect oh. antique coins. Nice. Uh, that one can walk around. This is an English penny. It can fall down and it can also fall up like that. Whoa. I know it's wild. Wow. Uh, <laughs> now this is a half dollar. Uh, this one can actually travel invisibly through the air all the way on over to there. Okay, I'm amazed already. Now, oh, if you rub wow. the half dollar just right, it'll turn into that coin purse that was over what? there a second ago, and inside of it would actually be the half dollar. What the? Am I going to? Oh, we have an audience in here. Am I, I know exactly. Amazed. Everybody's you know, so. Now watch these coins. I'm going to slow it down a little okay. bit, okay? So I'll slow it down just for you guys. Uh, so we've got the two copper coins oh, and the silver coin. Now if I squeeze really tight like so, uh, the silver coin will actually vanish and jump. On over to there. Get out of here. <laughs> now I might have gone too fast and you didn't know what to expect, okay? So let's do that again, okay? Okay. Cover that up. Take the centavo and the English penny. Did you hear them clink? I did. You did, I know, but they actually didn't clink over here. They clinked all the way over here. <laughs> Now, uh, maybe I'm using too many cards, too many coins. So, uh, Ashley, are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. You're right-handed. Uh -huh. Okay, so hold out your right hand like so, and you're going to cover up the coins and the card like so. Okay. Very good. Now, we've got the centavo. Did you see it go? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You okay. did? Because it's. In, I mean, it's, it hasn't oh, gone anywhere stop. yet. But, but watch, if we squeeze really tight, it'll disappear. Lift up the card. Oh, no. Lift up the no. card, and no. under your oh, hand God. would be... <laughs> now... Now, like I said, these coins can travel, and it can happen instantly. So watch, uh, watch. We'll take the uh, half dollar out. So over here, obviously, we would have. Oh wait, uh, they traveled already. So that was really fast. Let's do that again. Okay, we've got the the uh, half dollar. Watch it, and it travels, and they switch places, oh, no, like so. No, no. Now one last time. Watch the half dollar. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's leave that one in the hand. This time we'll make the uh, the two copper coins invisibly travel, and they would actually be under here and under oh. here, <laughs> and. So I guess that means that that's the end of the trick. So we can just put those back inside the coin purse, and that would be the end of the trick. So there I'm you speechless. Go. Like I don't even oh, know what to say. Wow. <laughs> it's awesome! Think, you did great. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> John Carter said he he's letting his breakfast go cold just to watch this. So I know you I was honored. I, I'm a big yes. fan of breakfast, so I, I understand. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you. Cool. I just. I can't even believe all this. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. No, thank you guys for having me. And this also, a lot of fun. real quick, where can people find you? Uh, they could go to davidthemagician.com, but my full website is davidrenali.com. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, we'll no, thank you. After this.